Hello, family and friends. This is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, along with SK1. And just out of the frame, you may see her moving, is Mrs. SG. And today we're going to be doing a special food challenge uh, for one of our fellow content creators, Ronnie and his family over at Southern Food Junkie. And I'm sporting a shirt, Ronnie. So, uh, a while back, uh, Ronnie's kids did the Korean Spicy Noodle Challenge with this pack, and we decided we were going to give it a try, uh, mainly because Mrs. SG loves spicy foods. Uh, SK1, he likes spicy food. I like spicy foods, but uh, uh, I'm nowhere near the... the champion spice eater that Mrs. Uh, SG is. Uh, we're, I'm a noob. He's maybe one level above a noob. So we're going to see how it goes. But to be honest, we have already tried the spicy noodle challenge and it was hot. Uh, but when we saw those, and these are the ones that Ronnie's kids did, we also saw that they have the two times spicy noodle and we've seen a few other content creators doing this on YouTube uh, with mixed results. Uh, we're going to give you our honest results and we did do a pack of these already but we mix it in with some other ingredients. Today we're going to be eating well, we're still going to mix some other ingredients with it, but we're going to do a pack for the three of us. And we're just going to let everybody add to their noodles what they want. I'm going to do some uh, stir-fry vegetables. Uh, we'll have some uh, beef that Mrs. SG has uh, cooked and uh, maybe a few other ingredients so everybody can top their noodles with what they want add more spices if they want it so let me uh, get over to the stove I'm going to uh, get the water started so we can do this and cook up the rest of our ingredients and then we will show you guys what we're doing and then we'll bring you back when we get to the table as well so our noodle challenge is going to be pretty easy we've got the three packs of noodles we're going to bring a pot up to a, a roaring boil when the pot comes to a boil, we're going to drop the noodles in and let it boil for three minutes. And we're going to turn off the heat, drain the noodles. We're going to add in our liquid pack that's included in the noodles. And we're going to add in our pepper flakes to the noodles. And we're going to stir everything together. These are what's considered a dry noodle. And we're going to let everybody add in what they want. But... <coughs> We're also going to have some beef that people can add on to theirs. We're going to do some uh, pot stickers. We're going to do some uh, stir fry onion, bell peppers, and some mixed greens. We've got some bok choy, some uh, baby spinach, some uh, Malabar spinach, and we're going to uh, do not really a stir fry, more of a uh, sizzling plate. So we've got a plate in the oven that we're going to keep in there on broil and when we get ready to serve the rest of the food we're going to take our vegetables uh, drop them on that plate with a little bit of oil and let that sizzle at the table and if I remember I'll bring you guys back to see that so the noodles are boiling we got our sauce and our hot pepper mix waiting to go in so three to five minutes, we're going to take everything out, mix it up, doctor it up a little bit, and then bring you guys back at the table. So we add in our soy sauce based sauce, and then we're going to add in our pepper mix. And hopefully we're going to get a nice, hot, spicy noodle. And if this is anything twice as hot as the other packet that we did, and we're going to be in for a treat. 
Hopefully we're gonna get a little bit of sizzle here. Ooh, I hear it. Yep. You so can hear that. The thing <laughs> is we do some dishes like sizzling below low. So things that don't need a lot of cooking time or that are already cooked. Mm -hmm. You just bring up a hot plate out. Mm -hmm. Don't drop your peppers. <laughs> Stir them around a little bit. <laughs> you have to be careful because the plates are hot. Uh -huh. We actually have a holder I should have put on the handle here. I'll do that. I'll get it for you. Yep. Okay. So while we prepare the rest of our food, we're going to let these veggies sizzle and cook a little bit at the table, which I think is neat. threw our meal together mm, I guess I <laughs> and these two times spicy noodles they just from the smell mm. so we're going to do it a little different just to not make the video super long we're each going to take a taste of the noodles give you a little feedback mm -hmm. then we're going to stop the camera we're going to finish our noodles and we're going to come back after about five minutes and hopefully, we'll be honest, nobody drinks any milk or any orange juice in the five minutes while we finish the noodles. So, everybody go ahead and take a taste. And we also have our uh, pot stickers, we have our beef, we got some nuts, we've got some uh, toasted sesame seeds, and we've got our uh, hot plate. Uh, vegetables so i'm gonna mm -hmm. dig in and when we did our previous taste on the other ones uh, i know i was guilty of not mixing the noodles as well as possible so a few bites you felt like you were okay and then you got a good bite of the spice and you were like uh oh i'm in trouble so mm -hmm. mm. are you about to cry I might be in trouble. <laughs> How are they? <laughs> okay. He's got a backup meal. So. so they are hot. I'm gonna get a little. I'm gonna get a little bigger bite. Then we're gonna pause the camera so we can finish it, and then we'll come back when we're done with the meal. Hmm. The noodles taste great. But that heat kind of builds up on you a little bit. So we're going to pause the camera so the video is not 20 minutes long. We're going to eat and then we're going to bring you guys back and then we'll let you know if there's any empty glasses of orange juice or milk here. So two of us are finished with our noodles. I got a, can you get me a spoon so I can eat my peanuts? They have some of the spice on it. Okay, thank you. So I'm done with almost all my vegetables, which was a nice trick because if you eat just some vegetables between bites of the noodles, it helps calms you a little bit. The noodles taste great, but they are hot. one so he would like to eat more. <sighs> Mrs. SG is the spice queen and she's uh, struggling over here. I surrender for this. <laughs> no retreat, no surrender. So, uh, Ronnie, <laughs> those noodles were for you and the kids, my friend. Mm. I don't know if I would do this again <laughs> even though the noodles taste really good mm -hmm. 
It's like when you got that slice of pizza and you know it's too hot and it's going to burn the roof of your mouth. But you take a bite anyway. <laughs> That's how the noodles were. So Mrs. SG and SK1 are off camera. SK1 is in a dead sweat right now. <laughs> his nose is sweating. His neck is sweating. But I want more. He's crying. <laughs> but he wants more. So... So we'll, I'm going to eat my dumplings and we're going to call this challenge a success and uh, again Ronnie thanks for, uh, thanks to your kids for inspiring us to try this and we did the black bag and then we did the two times kicked up version and it did bring some tears to my eyes, I didn't cry but it did bring tears to my eye and uh, it did uh, make me not want to talk for a while but the dumplings are yeah everything that goes in after the noodles helps calm you just a little bit mm -hmm. so for all those people doing the spicy noodle challenge saying it's not spicy I call BS because this was pretty spicy <laughs> I'm not using anything else that channel is family friendly so uh, as always, this is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing SAI's Family Garden, along with Mrs. SG and SK1 out of camera frame, and SK2 uh, on the opposite side of the table today, because he's not trying it. I wouldn't advise letting small kids try this, because you wouldn't want them to touch the noodles and touch their eyes or their nose or anything. So, as always, God bless our great country, America. You, wherever you reside around the world, your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals, and especially your family that have health, success, and prosperity as we do. Take care. Sap her out and... SK2 out. All right. Take care, everyone. We can't see you, buddy. You have to stand up. Wait a minute. Yep. SK2 out. All right. Thank you. Okay. So how do we finish up after taking the spicy noodle challenge? So after the spicy noodle challenge, we're gonna have turtle pie and chocolate peanut butter Oreos.